Finally. I almost fell asleep waiting. As usual, my predictions are correct. You, yes you, come with me. Are you some sort of door-to-door -door fortune teller? Huh? Sorry, but we're not really interested. <sighs> You're not from this world, are you? <gasps> Because I'm a master of true astrology. If you've no other questions, let's be off. <sighs> Fine. I'll exercise a little patience and explain. I am astrologist Mona Magistus, but considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. Not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. <clears throat> well, I want to prove the power and status of astrology, to be precise. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless. But I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, so... Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. That does seem much faster than searching the land country by country! <laughs> a wise decision. Said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. There is a small inn near Mount Tiano that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off.
business. Mona, you've come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? A jade ring? Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. That ring was given to me by my mother. But while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. Hmm. That should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Their divinations will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. Such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. Uh, well, I was going to put up 20,000 mora as compensation, if you were willing. Uh... <laughs> Twenty thousand? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I... I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn twenty thousand mora just like that. <clears throat> yes, of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much more to find. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. There may be other means we can employ besides astrology. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. I know, I'll leave this one to you. This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. Maybe we can use Elemental Bait to lure all the nearby slimes to us. You remember the stuff we helped Master Diluc make? And... <laughs> Paimon actually kept a small amount. Paimon's the very best partner, right? Seems like you already have a plan. Yep, we'll be back. The elemental bait's really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Even if this is your first mission, so don't mess it up. But if the going gets too tough for you, well, I shall lend a hand then.
ton of... Uh, Paimon wasn't having any bad thoughts. Uh, let's bring the ring back to Mr. Zhu. That's it! That's the one! Ah, I thought it was lost forever. You actually found it. Not bad. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. You're absolutely right. How would I face my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? Let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. I think there might be over 500 of them. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Thank you, all the same. Here's the Mora, as agreed. Please take it. Then? Then I'll take it, gladly. But we did all the work! A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? Just playing pretend? Well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. Uh. What was that rumbling sound? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no... Ah, uh, sh <laughs> That didn't happen. Forget it. Hmm. Well, I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wongshu Inn. I hear the food there is really good, so let's go try it out. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? She's such a good person. <laughs> Let's have ourselves a great meal.
is not on my schedule. Well, since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me, what would you like to order? It's exactly what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's just as good as the real thing. These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat, and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. <laughs> You'll never get enough of it. Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. It's one of our specialties. Uh, all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. <clears throat> Squirrelfish, Juyu Chili Chicken, and Jewelry Soup, please! Sure! And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um... Around 20,000 mora. Then... Uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. Rattled by something as mundane as Mora. An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... ...and dangerous. So, not eating the dishes we ordered... ...is also part of an astrologist's pride? Paimon doesn't get it. But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Yes, we can do that. Just give us a minute. You don't use more to fulfill your desires, so it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Let's go borrow the kitchen from the innkeeper. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry, but it's not a big deal.
Hello. How may I help you? We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. If I may add one more thing. You must be quite well versed in the art of cooking, yes? <laughs> Talented indeed. Actually, I have a small suggestion to make. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a Yue cuisine classic. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Golden crab. Golden crab! Golden crab! With your skills in the kitchen, this will be a cinch. <laughs> <laughs> 